everyone, welcome back to another episode of Passion Beer. Nick here with Shane. Shane busted out something that I just recently picked up. It's the Game That's of Thrones right. uh, Blonde Ale. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the Iron Throne the Iron, Blonde Ale. Iron Throne Blonde Ale. So it's uh, the officially licensed beer from the HBO series Game of Thrones. Which is awesome, by the way. All rates reserved. <laughs> Should throw a little disclaimer <laughs> underneath that, but I don't think we will. But no, I mean, you know, I think I personally, and I think, whoa, nice. Yeah. I heard about this a couple months ago, and I've just been really looking forward to this. Just waiting for yeah, it, yeah, just like waiting for it until it came out. So I do. I, I had a, a much bit better pour there. <laughs> no, but it uh, looks good. Looks good to me. I mean, certainly a nice, very, very frothy white head. Yeah, nice, nice and clear, fairly clear beer too. Uh, some nice citrusy notes to it. I, I mean, it, it, it looks filtered. I mean, there yeah. appears there is, to be some, there is some sediment the bottom, in the bottle, sure. so got to be careful with that. But uh, oh, it overall, really nice, nice a little nice sweetness, a little bit of fruit. Yeah, for uh, sure. Some uh, sweet maltiness too on the backbone. Yeah, definitely. I think you get those. I think you get some kind of nice ripe citrus uh, citrus flavors there too. I can't wait Rose, to dive in. Rather, cheers! Cheers. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, that is pretty damn good. That's nice. I mean, for ballpark ten dollar, maybe a little bit more bottle. Um, th this is really, really solid beer. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, there is a lot of a uh, uh, a lot of like backbone to this, so there is that yeah. uh, maltiness to it. But there, there's a lot of sweetness to it, and the the hops are present, but they're not overpowering whatsoever. And yeah, they kind of take a back seat in this brew. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I think it. Um you know, I think it, it really has that nice, nice maltiness up front. And then, kind of as you said, it transitions into the sweetness. And it's kind of an overall really just classic, nice balance of a sweet and malty beer. Uh, you know, and I guess it's supposed to be like a Belgian Blonde Ale type of thing. Yep. Um, 6.5%. So, I mean, I think, what does it say? Grains of Paradise and Lemon Peel. I think you do kind of get some of those, like well, you said, those citrusy accents. notes. I mean, I don't know if I'd necessarily pick out lemon in this, but I think it, overall it's just, it's a nice sweetness, nice citrusy notes. Uh, I, I mean, it's good. It's, it, no, it's it, certainly it, a good beer. A, absolutely, really absolutely it. good beer. What are you thinking rating then? I'm probably going to go with an 88. Okay. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a good beer. It's a solid beer. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's one of my favorite TV shows, <laughs> so it has that going for it, but uh, the carbonation does take a little bit away from it, and it... It, it makes it a little bit more difficult to call it a sessionable uh, blonde ale, and that that's what I, really what I was looking for. Something a little bit more sessionable, but with carbonation, it's really hard to just throw it back. So. Fair enough. I, I mean, I think I'm at an 87 on this one, and not because of the carbonation. I, personally, I don't really mind the carbonation. I you know I kind of I kind of do like the bubbliness. I kind of expect that from a lot of Belgian beers. Um, you know, a little bit of that that yeast being, you know, active in there, creating some carbonation. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just wish maybe it was just a little bit more complex in a way. I mean, I think it's, I think it's a very safe beer to make. It's, it's very balanced. It's very straightforward. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, I just wanted a little bit something different that some subtleties maybe that you get in a really traditional Belgian pale ale that maybe is not in this one. But overall, I, I really think it's a nice beer and Got to give props to what it's created for. Got to be a little bit. Got to be a little bit safe with the season three coming up. Yeah, so. that's true. Fair enough. No, Fair enough. Respectable. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Passion Beer. Nick here with Shane. We're signing off. Cheers. Cheers.